In this video, I am going to tell you about the real-world battery runtime of the DJI Mini 4 and how it compares to the DJI Mini 3 Pro and how it compares to the claims of DJI themselves. It is not equal and it's not even close, but I'll explain to you why the discrepancy is kind of big. And we are also going to give you some tips that are very valuable for you getting the most out of your uh, battery runtime. And if you hang on to the end, I'm going to demonstrate to you what happens when your battery runs out and you're up there flying in the sky, okay? All right, exciting lineup all about battery runtime and battery options. This is the most important part of the drone, I believe. If you're new here, this is drone and tech review. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a lot of testing, a lot of reviewing of the different features and try to do repeatable measurements of the nuances of drones and of lithium powered battery equipment. Okay, here we go. So DJI claims that this has a runtime of 34 minutes. Okay, let's get to the data. I flew this thing many times from full charge until it forced itself to land. And, you know, I, pu I put it on a hover because it's the most repeatable form of testing with, with no wind. And it got about 23 and a half minutes almost every single time. The Mini 3 Pro, the older Civic, was a little better at about 24 minutes and about 10 seconds. So a little bit better. It probably has less features. It has a smaller battery mind you, than this one, and a, and a heavier battery, but this thing has a few more features. So part two of the series is I got to thinking, hey, but first of all, I said, what if I'm recording video the whole time? How does that affect runtime? And because of the gimbal, you know, you know you're, in, and you're, you're, you're using processing power. And as it turns out, there was no effective difference when I had, was recording video the whole time. You know, 23 minutes of video, it was the same. So it's between 10, 23 and 30, 23, 40, with or without video. So the video does not affect it at all. I think the main reason is the, the one that, that costs battery is the gimbal, is the gimbal is on the whole time. There's no way you can turn the gimbal off. It's just part of the operation of flying. The second part of my experiment is, hey, obstacle avoidance. Obstacle sensors here, uh, on the back, in the front, on the bottom. What if I turn that off? What if I don't use it, right? And how you turn it off or not use it is with a feature called sport mode. When you are in sport mode right here, that means it's just going to run into things. And it. Uh, so there I went with my experiment, sport mode from start to finish. And you know what the result was? No effect. <laughs> it was still... 23 and a half minutes. So a lot of YouTube videos tell you, hey, if you want to maximize your battery, turn off your obstacle avoidance. And it turns out it doesn't work. Uh, and I think I know the reason. The reason is you can't turn off obstacle avoidance. Okay, the sensors are always on. They're always drawing battery from, from the system. Uh, you know, they, there's just no way to switch them off. When you put it on sport mode, when you're not acting upon obstacle avoidance, you're not avoiding obstacles, uh, it is still working. The system is still working. And you could see that with the circle of trust right here. It's showing all the obstacles. It's just not going to do anything about it. So there's no way to shut off the sensors from drawing current. And that's why uh, turning off obstacle avoidance has no effect on battery life. It's still around 23 and a half minutes long. Okay, so let's get to some interesting um, dilemma. How come I'm getting 23 and a half minutes and DJI says 34 minutes? What is the discrepancy between the two? Are they lying? What, what are they doing? Uh, it is so far off. So they're not necessarily lying. They're a little bit exaggerating, but really they're being very unclear about the whole uh, estimate of time. And the biggest thing that they do is they say, hey, it has to be flying at a constant 12 miles an hour, zero wind, minimal turning, no turning, uh, and then it'll get 34 minutes. Uh, and then, so that's 
problem number one or that's discrepancy number one you know that situation does not exist you don't fly a drone that way you're not going from los angeles to san francisco you know you're 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 going around you you know hovering taking videos and whatnot so really an un unrealistic estimate of the the battery runtime and by all accounts when you're hovering uh, as opposed to when you're flying at about 12 miles an hour as opposed to hovering you are going to experience about 15 percent more runtime than hovering uh, they say there's an aerodynamic effect and and the hover has to be not too fast just kind of floating where the where the blades uh give you a little bit of lift so you know whether that's true or not you know it's true but you know whether it's 15 percent or not we we can't really tell uh, so the bigger issue is thir with the 34 minutes and my 23 and a half minutes is, uh, is two things happen with the 34 minutes. Before you get there, it always calculates you know, that it can return to home. It always wants to give you a battery that can return to home. So uh, with about five minutes of battery to go, it's going to return you to home. If you're really far away, uh, 10 minutes to go, it's going to return you to home. And basically your playtime is over. So you turn to home and, and you'll still be afloat, uh, but you, it, uh, it's going to want you to, uh, to be right there where you're going to land. The second bigger issue is it's going to give you a forced landing. You know, with, with about 20% of battery left, it's going to force you to land. <laughs> it's going to... And that's where I do my measurements. If it's forcing me to land, I can't do anything. That's it. But, uh, which leads me to, but there's still a little bit of battery left. And that leads me to the, uh, what I promised earlier, what happens when you run out of battery. When you run out of battery, it's forcing you to land. But let's say you are in a cliff or you are in water and, you know, you, you don't want it to land. It turns out you have a little bit of life left. You know, you have about two minutes, <laughs> two minutes of life left where if you leave it alone, the thing is just going to drop. But if you hold the stick, you know, it's going to stay afloat for a couple minutes. And you can fly around for a couple minutes. And then at the penultimate time, it goes to zero for about a minute. And then it's just going to drop. Drop gently, but it is going down. So that's what happens when you run out of battery. Next part of this video, I want to tell you about a couple tricks to optimize your experience. And the first one is that right here, you have your battery life i'm not sure because the fonts are so small uh, and the latest firmware they're, they're adjustable now but there's a number here called 99 that's your battery percentage so this this light tells you you have four bars each bar is um, 25 percent uh, off battery so it tells you me i have between 75 percent and 100 percent i just don't know how much so somewhere in there right so if you wanted more granularity this number right here that says I got 99%. I rarely see it at 100. Uh, and it says I have 99% of 100% battery left. And that's going to be real time as you are flying. So very important. And then when you, when you press the button right there, it's going to give you data about how many minutes until it returns to home, how many minutes until a forced landing, and how many minutes until zero battery. So very important piece of data, okay? The number two thing I want to impart on you guys is there's something going on uh, with these batteries, which is they are intelligent batteries. They're the bleeding edge of batteries, kind of like Tesla batteries. I play with a lot of RC cars, and I wish I had some of this technology, which is it puts itself in storage mode uh, in two ways. One is after 24 hours, when you fully charge it, it's going to charge to 100. But after 24 hours, if you don't use it, it's going to drop it down to 96%. So you lose 4%. It's going to discharge it as heat. And a uh, pretty novel uh, piece of engineering that they do, uh, it just discharges itself. It's, it's going to warm up a little bit. And then after five days, if you still don't use it, it what happens is it char is discharges to 40% of battery. So pretty crazy. So there's no indicator here really. When you turn it on, you'll see the lights, but you're not really sure what's going on. So why they do that? You know, these are lithium polymer cells and they, they experience the most degradation when they're at 100%. Uh, when they're at 60, which is storage mode, they are at, at, at the best place where they can maintain 
their health. So that's why they discharge him that way. They don't want him to put him to zero because over time it gets lower and these cells, they cannot be lower than zero or zero is really uh, 3.2 volts per cell. They don't want it under there because that incurs damage to the cells. And the last piece of data that I'd like to impart on you is that there is a plus battery available. And so this, like I said, is good for 23 and a half minutes of flight time, but the plus battery for about $95 will give you realistically 30 minutes of flight time. So that is pretty good. It's very close to the 34 minutes that you were expecting when you purchased this thing. All right, so there you go. Uh, like I said, when you run out of battery, uh, it always gives you a buffer of about 20%. So when it's forcing itself to land, don't worry, push up the stick and do what you need to do. Uh, let it descend in a, get it your drone in a safe place. Hopefully you can still uh, see it and it's close enough. And then it's just gonna land, land it yourself. Uh, if you run out of time, it's going to land itself gently wherever it is at that spot where it's zero. All right? Thanks a ton, everybody.